I'm Dennis Gage and welcome to My Classic Car. Well this week we're in Mawa, New Jersey for the Dead Man's Curve Wild Hot Rod Weekend. Let me tell you, this is a fun bunch of guys and they put on a heck of a show. This is only its third year and they know how to pack them in. They're some of the craziest machines you'll ever see. This is going to be a good time and knowing these guys, that's a safe bet. 62 Dart Wagon. When these came out, these were one of the ugliest cars ever built. Now I think they're actually kind of cool. It's pegged at 225, I can't believe it. Look at this roof line. Mario, how you doing? Okay, Dennis, how you doing? <laughs> Again, it's like, it's, it's Jersey, so how you doing? I'm all right. I'm, I'm all right. You're doing you know, good. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> so man, the Dead Man's Curve Car Club, you guys have been together since like, uh, 1978. Man, and you do all these crazy Gasser-inspired yeah. cars that, you know, we were at the world famous Hot, Hot Rod, Rod Farm, Farm about a year ago. You know, we, we shot with a few of your, your folks. I mean, you guys, you're a fun bunch of guys. Thank so you. now you've expanded beyond the party at mm -hmm. the farm mm -hmm. to this, the, the wild hot rod weekend. This is so cool, man. Thank you, thank you. Well, the grounds, I mean, it's, it's set up so great because it's kind of these circular parking lots. Absolutely. And you know, it displays the cars really well. You can kind of cruise the loop and then you got some really wild, historically significant cars in the hotel ballroom. You got, you got the monkey mobile, you got the, the bat mobile, <laughs> the green hornet, the, the, the hot rod that was on the Ed Sullivan show with the Beach Boys in 65. Cool, it was right? unbelievable. Very cool. And there's this crazy blown willies, green blown willies in there. You know anything about that? Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's my car. That would be yours. <laughs> yes, it's mine. But that's the other thing. You guys are all kind of, uh, you're, you're a bunch of gasser guys. Right, that's right. So how'd that start? Well, you know what? It was a bunch of friends. A lot of our guys had the same interest in, in uh, building cars and whatnot, gasser style in the 60s, you know, drag racing, you know. Um, street freak uh, cartoon cars, mm. and uh, we all got together, and um, you know we just made it happen. You and, know and, we made it. And happen. It's been happening ever since. And it's been happening ever since. This is a wild hot rod weekend. It's cool. You got just everything going on here. But you guys are serious gasser guys. Let's go over and look at that car. You give me the fine points of a gasser. Absolutely. Okay, James Hetfield, Metallica, Black Pearl. Very nice. John, this is one special car. I mean, it's a sweet little hot rod to begin with, but this thing has got some history. Yes. Yes. It does. <laughs> and your dad built this back in 64 or maybe even 63. 63, he originally started building it in 58 when he got home from World War II. Chopped it and channeled it on his own in the garage behind the house. And then he showed it, what, at the, at the New York Auto Show in 64? Yes, he got best of show that year. And after he received his best of show trophy, a General Tire was coming out with new tires yeah. called General Dual 90s. So they asked him to come to the New York World's Fair that year to promote their tires and put the car on display. <sighs> so while my parents were at the show uh, that year at the World's Fair, Brian Wilson, uh, came up to my dad. Beach Boys, Brian Wilson? The Beach Boys. They said, we're gonna be on the Ed Sullivan show in September and we'd like to have your car on the show. This one? This one, right Was here. on the show, in Ed Sullivan's show when the Beach Boys played in 64. Yes. On the set. On the set. How cool is that? Yes, that <laughs> it's was amazingly great. amazingly cool. I mean, I'm looking at a small block Chevy, 353. Uh, 327. 327, oh, so a vet motor. Yes. It's a Chevy, actually, right? Yes, it's a 31 Chevy Roadster mounted on a 1932 Ford frame. What are the fenders? The fenders are from a 1947 Harley Davidson. <sighs> the lights, I think, are from a 1950 Harley. Polished stainless uh, grill cover, but that, that's gotta be a heating problem, doesn't it? Yes, <laughs> he, he would take it off strictly for drag racing. So he then, drag raced this thing? Oh, sure, sure. He was at the Atco Raceway. <laughs> uh, he was all over. He was Man. in Long Island, Jersey, Connecticut, all driven. Drive to the strip? Yes. Race it, drive home. Race it and drive home. And was it this color, this kind yes. of cream? is exactly the way it was in 64. Now how about the Landau bars? Those are stock on a, a 31 Chevy. No kidding, so, yes. but he's chopped the top too, yes. right? Yes, he so lowered he... the roof two inches and he lowered the body four inches onto the chassis. Man, oh man. Is that a Merck uh, cluster? Yes, yes, that's now, a, a was Mercury that, Dash Was that in it originally or? Originally he had uh, an early Cadillac uh -huh. Dash, but as the years went on, uh, he changed it over. Jeez, I'm just, I'm blown away by the car. I think the car is really cool, but the history, the story of it, the history of it is just incredible. And it, you know, you're here in the ballroom, which is yeah, surrounded by some, to be here. some pretty darn cool stuff. Yes. And 
this show in general, I mean, the Hot Rod Weekend with right. these guys, this this is a blast. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Yes. So what was it called? The Mailman Special. The Mailman Special. John, this is a beautiful car. Thank you very and much. a piece of history. Thank you. Well, Tom, this is a sweet little ride, a, a good humor ice cream truck. This is the real deal? This is the real deal. So in, in what year is this? 1966. So in 66, running up and down the eastern seaboard, you'd see these. This is what you saw, and this is how they dressed. And the classic change. Yeah, the changer. <laughs> Has your tails. <laughs> that is, where did you find this? Well, I grew up in Maplewood, New Jersey, okay. and this guy was my neighbor. No and kidding. When Good Humor sold out all their trucks in the late 70s, he bought some. All through high school, I worked with him on weekends and that. Yeah. When I was able to get my license, I started working for him. That is amazing. So then, this whole cutaway deal, they just cut them away and, and they still had enough structural they, integrity and everything? Well, there's a lot of flex because there's no support on that side. Yeah, so I they bet. actually stiffen up over there. That's why you get a lot of stress fractures. But there's no blower motors for the defroster. You have air conditioned, you know, 24-7. Yeah. <laughs> and rain. <laughs> but that's, I mean, that's just a basic compressor, that's right? That's your compressor, and there's cold plates. You plug this in at night, and it'll stay all day. You plug it in at night, she's going to chill all the way down. And then, do you have, I mean, do sure. you have stuff in there? Absolutely. That's so cool. Look at this, man. I can go to any event, pull up, and start selling within minutes. <laughs> Let's see what powers this baby, OK? Sure. Well, this is a your, straight a six. Ford, yeah. It's a Ford 300 with a Carter YF one barrel. That wooden spacer is like for heat reasons, right? Correct. That is off my kid's swing set. That's one of the safety <laughs> rails. But that works. I mean, these things would they, they get too much heat. They'd boil the, the gas, blow gaskets, right? Right. That's because but, the exhaust is attached to the intake. But that actually works. It works. That is amazing. So, I mean, when you go to a show, do, do people flock to you and, and they Absolutely. dig the truck, they're they, talking about their memories, and they want ice cream? They want ice cream, they want to hear the sound of the bell, or the changer, or the door closing. <laughs> and uh, you got to have a good sense of humor to own one of these. Correct. So you are indeed the good humor man. 66 good humor truck. I love it, Tom. Thank you, Dennis. Bruce, this, this is a cool ride. And. And you look strangely familiar to me. We've met before. I think I met you once or twice. <laughs> it was back in, it was in, in, in Connecticut, right? You yeah. had that purple, uh, that, the that creepy wagon. crawler wagon. Yeah, creepy crawler wagon. That was exactly. like 10 years ago or so. Yeah, it was. Well, you built another cool one. So what, what do we got here? Uh, we got a 37 Chevy pickup, kind of a 60s show rod theme. Yeah, yeah. I love the motor mounts. I mean, it's, that's, a, that's a slick looking frame. Those are crazy. And then, you know, she's kind of a cream, but even the holes are, are this, this uh, green. It's kind of a, it's almost a pickle green, isn't it? Well, it's actually a factory Jeep color. Really? Um, and it looks terrible on the Jeeps. <laughs> it looked good but on I this. I figured it would look good on this. And the engine, 350? 350 Chevy. And what's the blower from? 671. Man, oh man. The front end's really cool too, because you got the, the friction shocks, right? Friction, yep. It's a great look. It really is. And those are some honking headlights. Uh, late 20s, early 30s, Hupmobile. No kidding. <laughs> found them in Syracuse about five years ago. I love the spoke, kind of the drag, you know, rail job, yep. dragster. Yep. And I love the gold leaf on your scoop too, man. That goes great with the green. But man, the interior, again, so 60s. The armrest is a valve cover, what a great idea. Then you've got your gauges mounted in a valve cover. I mean, that's that's cool. What had happened there was I had them mounted in the dash and I was carrying these valve covers around forever. Couldn't sell them. <laughs> I said, why, why not? Why not? And the seats are to totally cool. What are they? Those are bar stools, actually. Bar like stools? 60s, 70 bar stools, they swivel. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Open the door, show me. Come on. <laughs> oh, that is that is so 60s. And man, you got the cheater slicks. This is a nice tonneau, and I, I love the again 60s heavy metal flake, gold flake. Yep. Yeah, the green is really unique. Oh, dig it, man. And this looks like a. I mean, that's a Corvette grill back here, isn't it? Sure it? is. What are the lights? Those are actually just aftermarket. Uh -huh. uh, they're LEDs, LED, so you but, can actually see and, them. Or if you see the flake in them, you, oh, yeah. I was trying to lose the appearance of the LED. Right, right. So I red flaked them a little bit. Oh, close her back down. I just want to see that the lines again. Man, just all all around, man. This is a great looking ride. You know the gherkin. I, I suddenly want a hot pastrami <laughs> on rye, maybe with a little melted Swiss. It'd go great with the gherkin. Sounds like lunchtime. It, let's eat. <laughs> Thanks, Bruce, man. <laughs> I love it.
Andrew, I, I like this car, man. This is the Jade Grenade. Yes, sir. So it's, it's a, a 50 Ford, your basic shoebox. How long you had this baby? I had this for about nine years or so now. How old are you? 31. So, I mean, like your early 20s, you bought this car? Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and was she in good shape or was it pretty rough? Yeah, basically as you see it. I love the pinstriping on it, but I like as much what you haven't done <laughs> as what you have done. All the chrome, you know, pitted and everything, just like it should be after, what, 65, 70, yeah. you know, however long it's been. And now you're with this, this club, the, the, what, the Tiki Kings? Tiki Kings CCC. Long Island, New York. So how'd you guys get together? What's the, you know? We just like hanging out, having a good time, and tiki, and hot rods, and. It all kind of comes together. Yeah, all kinds of comes So where'd you find this? This Because this is an interesting visor. I got the visor off of eBay, and. Well, uh, you know, I thought that was fiberglass, but. No, it's, it's steel, it's ribbed, and never Man. seen a ribbed one before. That is that is crazy, and the two spots, are they dummies, or? No, they work. They both of them work? Yeah. They both work. You spared no expense on the interior. No, no. Well, <laughs> it's always a work in progress, so. I love the PBR shift uh -huh. knob, you know, that's a, that is, that's. I just put, put uh, the Fox Speed in it. Man, yeah. that's amazing. Back here, you got more of this great pinstriping, but here, uh -huh. you know, you got this subtle tiki, yeah, kind of tiki, tiki iron tiki cross thing going. Yeah, and the pinstripe and everything, yeah. And what, you got a black plate? Well, that's a 1950 plate. And you say she's got a flathead in it. Is yeah. It, let's go look at that. Yeah, all right. Wow. You know, not only is that a flathead, it looks like the original flathead. That it is, never been out. It's never been out of the never car? Never been out of the car. Man, does she stay cool? Now that I record the radiator and put an electric fan in there, yeah. So how, I mean, how does she run? Runs great. And you, are I you running the up. side pipes? I mean, you run straight yeah. outside? No muffler, just straight side pipes. Just yeah, that that's that flathead it. sound. Uh-huh. Oh, man. But now with a five speed behind it. Oh, I do 80. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. That's just totally awesome. Yeah. So 50 shoebox. I love yeah. it. Thank you, Andrews, Nice ride. All right. Thank you. Steve, this is the, I got to say, this is the gnarliest really? power wagon I've ever seen. And power wagons are pretty gnarly to begin with. But, and I've done power wagons before, but I've never seen one like this with the articulating swivel frame, swivel frame on it. It's, what year is this? 1956. You know, I didn't know they did that. It was an accessory. It was a, a like an aftermarket company made them. When they were building roads, the roads were uneven. Yeah. Roads were, were and, and as they were overloading the trucks and driving the trucks, they were breaking the breaking frames. Breaking the frames. And somebody must have come and said, let's, let's see if we can I'll put it twist it. How many did they make of these things? Rumor is about 40. This couldn't have been an original color scheme, could it? Or No, it, it wasn't. We took a model truck, took it apart, yeah. painted it to the color that we liked and the, the pattern that we liked, and we put it together and it, it didn't look right, so we took it apart again, painted it a different <laughs> color. I love that, just just paint a model, take it apart, put it back together just until you came up with this. Yes. It, it looks great, and the engine, I mean, that's the original engine, power wagon engine, isn't it? That's right. Flathead six? Flathead six, nothing fancy about it. Single barrel? Single barrel, I never even had the head off, it just took the pan off, cleaned out any gunk that might have been in the motor. And that was it? And that was and it. She just, and she fired up and? It was nice. A heck of a bumper, you got a winch on front. Old stock and, and this is a, I guess this is your AC? That is. <laughs> your windshield kicks out? It, it's quite cold in there when you're driving, even hot days. <laughs> really? The, the cowl vent takes care of your feet, the windshield takes care of your upper body. You know, it's it's not, it, you really got it nice. It's simple, but it's nice. So she's pivoted right here, and what did they do underneath? Underneath the frame, you've got the brake line that yeah. goes from one side of the frivel to the other. Yeah, I mean, the fuel line, the brake line, how do they keep right. that from breaking? They're just like, same thing with the fuel lines and the brake lines that go anywhere else for the steer tires, they're just rubber lines. Man, you're able to get a pretty radical tilt on this thing. This is mild. First time that I, I drove it up onto a snowbank, I slid from the driver's seat right into just the passenger, <laughs> straight across. What's this? This is a train uh, hookup, it is. isn't it? One of the power wagon advertisements had a train, had where they, they put them in a freight yard. <laughs> and then One just, of their brochures. Boom, and she closed it, right? Yep. Wow. <laughs> and this thing could probably pull it, too. That's what the brochure said. So, I mean, you, do you always like show it like, yes. like all contorted and everything? Because yeah. that's what people want to see. Right? Like. I mean, it's just totally crazy. It's a 1956 Power Wagon swivel frame. Man, I love this thing. It's totally insane. Thanks for bringing it out. Very welcome. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. The Dead Man's Curve Wild Hot Rod Weekend is a blast, and I'm truly cruising in style now. You need to check this one out. It's, it, this is killer. Bird. <laughs>